Hello and welcome again to What's Moving in the Forex Market brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. Please keep in mind that all comments are for instructional purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. And also, please keep in mind that Pristine offers a list of upcoming free webinars that you can check out at our website, www.pristine.com. And here's a sample of what we've got coming up this week. You can see Monday, January 25th at 4.15 Eastern. Discover a market gaining in popularity, as well as some others that we have listed there as well. But again, for a full schedule of webinars this week and upcoming weeks, you can go to www.pristine.com. Taking a look at where things are at for this week, we've got Euro US dollar in the upper left. And as you can see, really just been bouncing around here between support and resistance levels. Nothing too exciting to talk about here. It's It's been pretty sloppy. So really just got to watch the levels of supply and demand and react accordingly if you're going to do anything at all. At this point, though, it, it has weakened a bit by breaking down under this little support level. And uh, so now we'll see if it doesn't continue to weaken, falling back down to this pivot low and possibly points lower. But until we get out of this, uh, this mess, it's really just range bound trading here. Looking at Aussie dollar, US dollar here in the upper middle chart, you can see this one had a pretty pretty significant bounce off the low and it's rallied up into resistance so you know there is there is a possibility that this chops around this coming week and maybe even the the week after as well but if you look at your longer term time frames you'll see that this looks like it's just now starting what is a new wave lower so we'll see if that isn't what's going to happen here um, but in the short term like i said we could be in for a week of, or two of just consolidating within a range new zealand dollar us dollar in the upper right you can see this one also bouncing off the low but hitting against resistance and now you can see that supply is increasing so We'll see what happens here, but the bias is more bearish at this point simply because it is still in a downtrend and has not overcome any resistance levels. Bottom chart down here, US dollar yen, this one too, bouncing off the low and really just staying within a range. It bounced off of support on the weekly, and uh, so maybe it, it rallies back up a bit more, but really this is, like I said, just range bound here. And so you're just going to play your support and resistance levels until something breaks and, and you know, more significant trend develops. U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar in the bottom middle here, short move lower. And this is, again, so interconnected to oil. So um, the, the short move down in U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar is a direct link to the bottom that has or at least a short-term bottom that's been found in oil you know last week we had the bounce in oil so that resulted in the canadian dollar strengthening a bit u.s dollar falling here so um you know it's still in an uptrend but this this move down definitely was a sharp one and and one in which we could clearly see the the supply increasing so overall you still want to be looking to buy down at support levels but you're just probably not going to see the same type of follow through we were seeing earlier so be be a little more um cautious in, in the upside targets but still support levels as i said should hold and you might even now start to see resistance levels overhead starting to act a little more uh, resistance like as this may turn out to be a, a top or at least a short term top. And finally, pound US dollar. This one's been in a beautiful downtrend here over the last couple of weeks. So um, not that it's really become extended or climactic from the daily, but we may be in store for a bit of consolidating here. The, the weekly 